friends. Look, I have somebody helping me today with Sunday School. Welcome to Sunday School and welcome to Sunday School, Dryden. This is my grandson, Dryden, and he's going to help with a song that we haven't done in a very, very long time. Um, and it's called, well, let me give you a humming hand. It goes like this. Does that sound familiar? Yes, it is the fruit of the spirit. And Dryden's going to help me with the song. So what are you going to do first, Dryden? You're going to hold up a pear. Pear. Yes, a pear. And a pear is a fruit, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But is it a fruit of the spirit? No, it's not. The fruit of the spirit's not a pear. The fruit of the spirit's not a pear. If you want to be a pear, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is, let's see if you remember them, Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. All right, what you got next for us, Dryden? Banana. A banana. I love bananas. They're the, one of the best fruits, I think. In fact, I like mine with peanut butter on it. But then again, I like other things with peanut butter on. I just like peanut butter. But anyway, so banana is one delicious fruit, but is it a fruit of the spirit? No, it's not. A fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. If you wanna be a banana, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness and self-control next is a peach I love peaches and peaches are in season right now and they smell so good. Oh, I just love peaches. It's one of my favorite as well. And it's a delicious fruit, but is it a fruit of the spirit? No, the fruit of the spirit's not a peach. The fruit of the spirit's not a peach. If you wanna be a peach, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Next is, ooh, what is that? <gasps> Look, friends, it's kind of small. Let me hold it up for you. Can you see what it is? It is a cherry, a delicious cherry. It's definitely a fruit, but is it a fruit of the Spirit? Nope. The fruit of the Spirit's not a cherry. The fruit of the Spirit's not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the Spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Last one? No. No? Nope. Two more. Two more. Okay. Which one are you holding up? Oh, yeah. Tomato. Wait a minute. Isn't tomato a vegetable? No. Fun fact. This is a veg. I mean, this is fruit. It's a fruit. A tomato is a fruit. I think of it as a vegetable because you like put it in spaghetti and that kind of thing. Um, although I did have a friend a long, long time ago 
um, who used to just take a bite out of them like an apple. And then she'd sprinkle some salt on it and she'd take another bite. She'd eat them just like an apple. But I don't do that, do you? Mm -mm. All right, so tomatoes a fruit. Who knew? The fruit of the spirit's not a tomato. The fruit of the spirit's not a tomato. If you want to be a tomato, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Now the last one. <gasps> apple. I love apples. But it's delicious and it's a fruit. But is it a fruit of the spirit? Mm -mm. The fruit of the spirit's not an apple. The fruit of the spirit's not an apple. If you want to be an apple, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. You just ate my prop. <laughs> Thank you, Dryden, for helping me with this. Last week, we watched a video, I hope you watched it anyway, it was pretty good, about a man named Jonah. And in this video, um, Jonah talked to God. And when he talked to God, God asked him to do something. And Jonah did not want to do it. In fact, and he argued with God, and he said, "Huh? No, no, no! If you're gonna, if you're gonna punish him anyway, then why do I have to go tell him about you? It just doesn't make sense." I think he was scared. God wanted him to go to a place called Nineveh. Now, we have a Nineveh in our town, but. It's not like this Nineveh in the story. This Nineveh had some very mean people in it. And um, it was a scary place to go because people just were mean and they, they would hurt you and, and be ugly. So he did not want to go to Nineveh. Our Nineveh is not like that. We have very nice people in Nineveh and they have their, there's a nice little church in Nineveh. And um, so um, just so you know, it's not the same, it's just the same name. Anyway, so God wanted him to go to this crazy, scary place called Nineveh, and um, he didn't wanna go. And in fact, he didn't wanna go so bad that he ran away. He ran away from God. How do you run away from God? I, think, I thought God knew where everyone was all the time what he did. So today, watch the video and find out what happens when Jonah runs away from God. Now, I was looking at, um, at the video last week and trying to find where you, um, where you connect to the, the Jonah video. And um, one thing I discovered was right underneath this picture, my picture there's a little place that's that has kind of some blue um letters and a lot of times you can click on that but if you click at the very edge of that um it's it seems like it lit up down toward the bottom um a little section and it said video and a, and a um, link there and then it said activity sheets and a link there. So if you're not able to find them, try again and um, keep looking for that. Um, it was a little tricky for me. But anyway, it's there. So last week, and actually the past couple weeks, we've been doing a song about Jonah. And if you remember it, you can help me sing it. It goes like this. 
who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Joe, Joe, Jonah? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Joe, Joe, Jonah? Who did, who did, who did, who did, who did swallow Joe, Joe, Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah? Who did swallow Jonah down? Who swallowed Jonah? Well, you are going to find out today in the video. So I hope you watch it. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Joe, Joe, Jonah. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Joe, Joe, Jonah. Whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did, whale did swallow Joe, Joe, Jonah. Whale did swallow Jonah. Whale did swallow Jonah. Whale did swallow Jonah down. Yes. Now you watch the video and let's find out what happens. It's not going to be all of it. We're going to do the very end of it next week. So, uh, let's get ready to sing our prayer. And I hope Dryden doesn't touch the thing again and get it to move. <laughs> um, let's get ready to sing our prayer and um, close out for Sunday School today. I hope you guys have a great week and um, we will see you next time. And you need to know everybody's working really, really hard to get our Sunday School area ready so we can start Sunday School in person in a few weeks. So you get ready for that and keep watching and um, listening to, looking for the the um, newsletter and different announcements to find out when that's going to happen. I cannot wait. I have missed everybody so bad. All right. This is our prayer. May there always be sunshine. May there always be blue skies. May there always be cheer. May there always be you. May there always be stories. May there always be music. May there always be churches that we can go to. Now it's Time to say goodbye to all my friends. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all my friends. Oh, it's time to say goodbye, so give a smile and wink your eye. Yes, it's time to say goodbye to all our friends. Goodbye, friends. Have a great week, and we will see you next time. <laughs>